Welcome back to another episode of Jason's Bricks and Five, where I discuss Lego content in videos of around five minutes. Well, the city rebuild is complete, and I'm happy to unveil the new Fiverrton. So I'll quickly go over some of the major changes that I've made through the city, and then we'll uh, take a little drive through the city so you can kind of see it a little bit more up close. But um, the first thing you'll notice is these six buildings here, the ones that I've uh, got pre-lit, We've got the Daily Bugle, the Jazz Club, the Cinema, the Emporium, the Fire Brigade, and the Police Station. Those used to all be over here. They were oriented uh, so that they were lengthwise, uh, with the Daily Bugle being in the back. So that's the first thing you'll notice, that I've, I've moved that tall skyscraper right to the front of the city. And I know that's probably contradictory to what a lot of people have done, but I really, you know, first off, wanted to move the lit buildings up front because it makes you know that much easier to see and it's more eye-catching. Um, but I really like kind of the the angles and the the views that this gives as you look down these streets. It, it uh, for me, has created a more interesting look throughout the city. Um, next, you'll notice the tower. We moved from the corner here. We moved it back a little bit. We added the Ghostbusters firehouse. Now, initially, I was planning on keeping the big tower in the same spot with the Ghostbusters firehouse here up front. Um, however, I found as it was that way with the entrance to the garage on this street, it really just looked like a red and gray uh, rectangle. You didn't really tell that it was the Ghostbusters firehouse. This view, I think, you know, because you enter the room from, you know, where you guys are at the camera, it really pops and you can really tell what it is. So I did that. I scooted these back and then I added this park. Now, you may recall I had a one base plate kind of a small little plaza park over here uh, when I had the grocery store here. However, I've expanded this. It's now, you know, kind of a nice pedestrian park. We've added a fountain. We still have the tower with all of the um, Lego minifig factory locations I've been to. So we still got that, um, you know, design there. But I've also added a place to park the food truck here. So it's not in the road. Uh, it pulls off just a little bit. So I, I'm real happy with how this turned out and it really adds life to it. Uh, you know, a lot of that greenery that it adds. These are, you know, I've, I tried to make kind of exceptionally full trees, and I think they've turned out great. Uh, the other thing that I've added is the Disney train station. Uh, this has been in the other room on a shelf because it just didn't fit with the city before. I, I tried a few different ways, couldn't get it to work. And yes, we took out a train and added a train station, but I really like the architecture, how it looks. I think it, you know, is an interesting view down this street, and it kind of holds a spot. You know, I'm thinking that might be where we put the uh, museum when we get that one. But for now, uh, I, I like how that looks. Uh, the upper level is pretty much the same. I did have to shorten this front um, walkway here by about two studs because it hung over and prevented buildings from being pushed up against there. But we've added the botanical garden. Uh, the grocery store is back there, and then, um, I took my noodle shop mock and I changed it. I took out the top stair, or top floor, I should say, and I created a staircase all the way up the front, and now there is a connecting point to the upper platform. So I'm super excited about that. Uh, still working a little bit on it. I've got to create the uh, rails, uh, the handrails for the stairs, but um, overall I, I'm happy with how that's turning out and you know, it blends well with the Spring Lantern Festival right here by the water. Uh, you will notice I did keep the waterfall and one base plate of, of river, or, or I guess maybe lake now. But, um, you know, I'll probably add a few things there, but I, I'm happy with how that has turned out. So um, let's go ahead. We'll give you a close-up look. You can see the city up close, and we'll be right back.
All right, so there you go. You got your tour through the city. Um, I, I'm real happy with it. Uh, let me know what you think. You know, what are some things that you think maybe worked well, or there's some things that maybe could be improved. I'm always open to feedback because, you know, I thought I was going to set this up one way and I found it wasn't working. So if you have better ideas, we might be able to institute those. Um, but it's been exciting because it's really kind of rejuvenated my love for the Lego city and, you know, uh, trying to get it cleaned up and focused. And now I'm going to maybe try to light some other buildings and, and just, uh, give it the attention that it needs, uh, so that when people come, you know, they're excited about it and I'm excited to show it again. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Jason's Bricks and Five. Happy building. Yeah.